everyone, welcome back to the news. I'm Lacey Green. Fun fact for you, in the booming fields of science, technology, engineering, and math, or STEM fields, women only occupy around 20% of these careers. So hey, room for improvement, right? The European Commission decided, you know what? We should do something about this. We need something to help young girls understand that science is for women too. And that's how this little gem was born. Science. Science. It's a girl thing. It's a girl thing. Well, you tried. As pure as the intentions were, the commission kind of failed on this one. In the attempt to market science to women, we see a parade of exaggerated stereotypes about what girls like and who they are, a distracted male scientist, makeup, and an overall message that to me is entirely disconnected from the mission of getting young women into science. Instead of connecting them with practical application, wonder, awe, and inspiration, it connects them with fashion and makeup, stuff women are already connected with every day until our eyeballs bleed. This video inspired such an outrage that it had to be removed. The internet and the scientific community, particularly female scientists, were very put off by the way their work was characterized, which means lots of parodies for us, like this one that came out this week. I'm sexy and I know it. All this hubbub does beg at a deeper question though. Why aren't women in the sciences? And how do we get them there? A number of studies have looked at the gender disparities and the findings are impressively awful. For instance, research coming out of Yale found that both male and female science professors widely regarded female undergrads as less competent than males with the same exact accomplishments and skills. As such, they were less likely to offer women mentoring or a job, and when they did, they were paid less. Over and over again, the research says, unconscious stereotypes about women bleeds into small slights that add up to big exclusion all throughout their lives. Which is why the it's a girl thing video is so painfully ironic. So what can we do? For starters, professors and parents need to be informed about stereotype threat and the pitfalls that it presents for women's performance and opportunities. We need to acknowledge and celebrate the achievements that women are making in the sciences. We need to give girls role models in this field. I mean, we've got Bill Nye, Carl Sagan, Neil Tyson, Darwin Galileo, but where's Mae Jemison or Shirley Jackson? Why doesn't anybody know who Rosalind Franklin, Mary Anning, or Carolyn Herschel was? We also need to create college environments and a culture that supports women in science and engineering engineering in the same exact ways that men are supported. Because science, people, science isn't a boy thing or a girl thing. It's an everybody thing. So let's make it happen, all right? Let me know what y'all think about science. It's a girl thing down below. And hit subscribe so that you can join us for more D-News tomorrow.